Hey guys, Peter here once again. And today I will show you guys how I fixed and replaced my ice maker machine on my GE. And here's the model I'll show you. There is the model number right there. This is the stainless steel one. You want to reference that information right there. And I will show you the part number for the ice maker. That is the part number for this ice maker that came from this freezer. And it's right here. You want to reference that WR30 number X10061. Just a quick heads up, you guys. Um, this particular unit actually comes in different models on the freezer. So you want to look for it online in terms of both model numbers um, based on what's inside your fridge and compared to the number that's on your ice maker. I tried my best to fix this unit. Um, basically, the heating element gave out on it after all the diagnosis that I did but so basically this green light would just flash it'll just flash and flash and flash after about a few minutes um so indicating that there's a stuck ice usually you can just put a blow dryer to it and free up the cubes but everything was working but the heating element and so i with all the disappointments I just went and researched the part numbers and I was able to acquire a replacement product online okay so it's crazy simple you guys on this particular model I guess I got really lucky because all you need is one screw it just goes right here a screw that goes here and then you unplug this guy and you're good to go I'll show you how to remove it from the freezer Okay, so you start by taking off this tray. I took that out. That one is a new one already. The thing I don't like about this new one is that it doesn't have the LED light that flashes. And you don't even have to take out this tray. Okay, well actually you do. I take that back. I'm sorry. You do have to take it out because you have to remove this part right there. Okay, and all I did was put a screwdriver here to like unhook and then the plug just comes out okay and then you get this bolt right here uh, let it focus take off this bolt right here and that's all you take out because the back part of this is just a notch these two notches right here this one and this one it basically just hooks on to the side it just hooks on and then there's a screw there which is the one that I showed you right there and that's all you need to remove it is so easy okay um, <laughs> I, I don't even know how much more to explain than that it comes with this it comes with all these things because again this uh, ice maker is made for many different kinds of models so again just reference the part number I, I got this one on Amazon it came out to less than $53 shipped to my house overnight uh, it would have been the same day it's just that um, they would have delivered late and I was at um, I was at work so I couldn't do it so they delivered it today this was ordered yesterday uh, it's really fast it was less than $53 the original part is like $189 and this part replaces a, a lot of different models and all I did was you know I turned it on and then I reset this three times, you know, the way it typically does. I just click this lever, click, click, click three times to reset it. And it started making ice within the next 45 minutes. As you can see right there, there's ice cubes in there already. So it is working, you guys. Super easy. So always reference your serial number and the serial number on the ice maker. And it'll tell you it replaces this type of model. It's like a WRX something, something, something model. Again, it's super easy. Unclip, unclip that, take this off. Unclip that connector right there. Take this bolt out, the whole tray comes out. Now see, if you could see these hooks right here, some models actually bolt onto the back of the door. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, back of the fridge. My particular model doesn't, so again, I got really lucky. So you guys, diagnose the thing and see if you could reset it. 
sometimes your ice maker just gets stuck so you could turn it off then when you turn it back on you can reset this three times one two three this lever right here pull it up or it could be a, a an arrow that goes in kind of like this one see this old one it goes one two three you know it, and that'll reset it but after all the diagnostics and trying all this troubleshooting that was the only thing that was wrong so anyway guys i hope this video helped you because i went through a struggle this whole week i can't do nothing without ice it's just amazing how <laughs> you find that you know what you really have until it's gone it's like it's terrible but yep ice is already being made this is the second tray that already fell so i'm good to go anyway guys if you guys have any questions post it down below somewhere and uh, if you like this video it'll really help us to just put a thumbs up on it and subscribe uh, this is a family channel and uh, you'll see a bunch of other stuff DIYs there and uh, we'll talk to you soon all right thanks for watching peace